Christmas. Would you like to come on down, Ekron? Ready for your start? I'm going to sit on the seat, and now I'm sitting on the seat. I mean, I can hear the music, I'm going to see this working. Alright, so I take it you already know all the rules. I mean, I hope... Both games. I'd hope so at this point, but if I don't, you know, I'm sure I'll ask you about the rules. So please, is that a please? Is that a question I'm allowed to ask on the show? Uh, if I know the answer, I am not at liberty to say, although I may cough at strategic moments. You know, I'm sure somebody did win a million uh, million quid. It was a big affair, back in, big affair back in the day, and then, you know, they got caught because it was pretty bloody obvious what was going on. Yeah, it was a, I think it was an army or an yeah, RAF guy Sergeant and his Major wife or something. And... Partner. I that remember reading it. about Sergeant it. Reading about Sergeant it. Major. Very interesting case, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. <coughs> D. Anyway. <laughs> no, that's the mo noise I make when I'm on the D. Anyway, moving oh on. My. Are you ready? I am more than ready. <laughs> I am ready to go. Then let's begin. So, what is the favourite food of Winnie the Pooh? Is it A. Honey, B. Apple, C. Chocolate, or D. Rice? Well, he got himself into many sticky situations chasing the sticky fluid that is known as honey and not semen. So I'll go with honey, please. A. Honey? Yep. Sir, that is indeed correct. Well done, you are off the start. Next question. A person who specialises in breaking open safes is called a what? A safe racker, a safe houser, a safe lighter, or a club treasurer? Now, to be fair, one of the clubs I was in a while ago, his club treasurer did legitimately steal from all the members because he was a bit of a knob. But it's not a club treasurer, it is a safe racker. A, please, finance That is indeed correct. Well done. Moving on. What is the name of an aeroplane that usually transports the president? Is it Airborne 1, Air Force 1, Prezi 1, or Hail to the Chief? I must admit, during the last president's reign, I could definitely believe he'd change it into D, but the answer is B, Air Force 1. Air Force 1, is that your final answer? Air Force 1, yeah, that's my final answer. That is indeed correct. So, moving right along, now you've won 300 little feathers. We shall see what your next question is. Feathers. What mythical creature is also known as the abominable snowman? Is it A. Yang, B. Yeni, C. Yeti, or D. Yoda? Uh, I haven't even got a funny quip for this one, so I'm just going to go with C. Yeti. Is that your final answer? Certainly is. That is indeed correct. So, moving swiftly along, we'll get to your next question. Which popular which popular game has varieties called Stud and Draw? Is it Domino, Bridge, Chess, or Poker? Oh god, I did. And since, we're, and since we're early on, and I'm sure I'll get another try if I fuck up, even though I probably won't, I'm going to take a guess and say... Ooh. I'm going to go with D. Taking a guess, go D with D. Poker. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yep. That is indeed, unfortunately, correct. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and that's the only one I didn't know is to see it and they're like, oh, feck. But no. <laughs> well, you've got thousand and you still have your three li still have your three lifelines. So, would you like to continue and see if you can win more feathers? Yeah, you know what? I need more feathers to randomly throw on my floor so I can blame the pigeon. That's a great idea. Let's go for it. Jolly good. Then let's play. <laughs> So your next question. So your next question is: At the start of a chess game, there are four of all but which pieces on the board? On the board, is it queen, rooks, bishop, 
or night. I mean, I have to come up with a quip that makes it look like that I knew what it was, not just the fact that I've been the host for like 19 games in a row. But honestly, looking at it, three of those pieces, there are eight of them on the board, but there's only one piece on there that has four on the board, and that's Queens. So, with that in mind, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with a Queens. That, that's the answer I'm gonna go for. I think Patch. That your final answer? Yes, yes, it is. That case, looks like you'll be earning some more feathers. More feathers, more feathers for me. All I want to do is win a million feathers. Rather than have to play. We shall try off. and get you there. I'd rather, I'd like to see that rather than play more yourself. Yeah, that, that would also not be very nice. It hurts. Your next question. Which animal is known as the king of beasts? Is it, is it, elephant, gorilla, Lion or rhinoceros? Ooh, now I'm pretty sure I do know the answer, and I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with lion on this one mainly because I, I think that's the answer. But logically, it's also the only full-on. I know gorillas kind of are known for well, chimps are known for killing their tyrants and eating their corpses, but uh, lions are the only ones that are full-on carnivores. So I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with Lion C. Final answer on that one, please, Patch. Final answer? Well, you had four, Brad. Looks like you are moving up the tree. Fantastic. I thought I had two grand going to four, but I'll take even more! Yeah! Okay, cool, cool. So, you are on four grand. Let's see if we can get you higher. Your next question What kind of weapon is a musket? Is it. A sword, a gun, a sticky husky, or a spear. Again, one of these really stands out, and it, it, it's a gun. I know it's a gun. I know that's the answer. It's the final answer, but it really sticks out. But very frequently, we'll find musket balls when I go metal detecting. Um, and, you know, in a lot of the court of the Dad's army, as of such, still use bloody muskets because they were so ill prepared. It was coming along, coming along. So, yeah, is a gun, is a gun, and that is my final well, in that case, don't tell him your name, Pike. That is indeed correct. Fantastic. Fantastic! I haven't lost yet. Win. No, and you still have your three lifelines. I know, scary, isn't it? So, I know. Let's see if you do all right with this question. Who wrote the novel The Great Gatsby? Is it Charles Dickens, Ernest Hemingway, Scott Fitzgerald or William Faulkner? Oh, testicles. This would imply that I've read a book before. Unfortunately, testicles isn't an answer. No, it's not, is it? Um, why not ain't Charles Dickens? If my testicles I... could write a book, that would be impressive. Yeah, but I think he probably could. You could write one of those weird artistic books where you just come with them in ink and kind of dab on a page and see what kind of scribbles you get from it and then you know it's like monkeys and typewriters it might make some money it might do i'm not convinced though um uh, i'm gonna have to take a punt because i'm not 100 percent sure i don't want to use a lifeline i'd rather lose all the money and keep the lifelines than not if that makes sense but you're only here once you might as well use a lifeline if you've got one i might need that lifeline later on that's the problem Yeah, all right. I'm gonna um, I'm I'm gonna phone a friend. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna phone a friend on this one. Okay. I'd like to, like to ring my friend, uh, Mr. Owlface. So I need to be on mute. So I can actually hear. Yeah, I'm gonna ring my face, a uh, small angry owl who's a good friend of mine. Certainly, we shall put a phone call in now. There's a green button over there on the right, in that direction. Over there. Next to the orange one. Pretty sure it's C or D. I just don't remember which one it is. I think it's C, but. Hello? Hello! Oh, wait, no, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> yes, the, the, the contestant has taken the host's job. Hello! Is this small angry bird? Uh, almost! Uh, yes! Jolly good. This, this is the host here, Patch. I have your friend, uh, Ekron, here. He's stuck on a bit of a question. 
and I'm okay. going to uh, very shortly pass you over to him. He will have right. 30 seconds to read the uh, read the question and the answers, and hopefully you can steer him on the right path. Let's hope so. Very good. I shall start your timer now and transfer you over. Hey, up. Who wrote the novel The Great Gatsby? Charles Dickens, oh. Ernest Hermway, Scott Fitzgerald, or William Faulkner? I think it's C or D, but I don't know. Mm, you've really asked the wrong questions, that's obvious. Yeah. Uh, obvious. Yeah. Um, other than that, I obvious. Um, other than that, I really don't know. I know this question came up earlier in the evening, but I didn't remember. Um, my gut is saying Scott Fitzgerald. I don't know why. I wouldn't be able to tell you why. And that's time. Okay, so he seemed to think C, which you also maybe thought, so that might help you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to trust him. I mean, I don't really need a million feathers. I said I can pluck them up myself, so if I lose, I lose. So I'm going to go with C as the final answer, Patch. Scott Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald is your final answer. Well, well, um, I hate to tell you this, but it looks like you're going to be in the hot seat a little longer. Fantastic. God, that really had me there. <sighs> Didn't have to use well, time for that. I trust you got, but it's you got, but it's always good to get back up. Yeah, I suppose. Let's see is. if we can get you slightly further. So your next question. Which one of the following is not guaranteed in the U.S. Constitution First Amendment? Is it the right to assemble, the right to bear arms, freedom of speech, or freedom of the press? Back. So, which what? of the following is not guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution? Just a minute. One of these is different from the one of these is different from the others. Like, you know, A, C and D are all related to communication and communication and speaking and stuff like that, and B is the right to bear arms. And I'm just trying to remember what all the bloody rednecks shout when they go on about more, more constitutional rights. Was it the Fourth Amendment? Second Amendment? Second Amendment rights, that's it, yeah. Um fuck it, I'm gonna go with um B, the right to bear arms patch. I'm going to go for it, and if I lose, I'm B? Not, I lose. Yep, B, right to bear arms, final answer. Final answer. Well, yeah. uh, unfortunately, you got that one very correct. <laughs> that was a noise I made. I made that noise. Yes, yes it is. So, according to my screen, you are now on 32,000... Feathers. Yeah, just where I want to be. <laughs> so you are still doing very. You are still doing very good. You have two lifelines. You can always walk away, but you have got thirty-two thousand feathers. It just means I don't have to pluck my own feathers to make pillows. On Etsy, on Etsy, I've got to pluck my feathers to make pillows. Pluck my feathers to make pillows. Fantastic. I know you had quite a successful business with Ebronfield pillow pillows, but yeah, you know we'll see if we get you further. Would you on. like to carry on? Yeah, let's carry on. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can double my money. Gets to see. Double my money. Whatever it's money at the end of the day. Right. Your next question then. Which country <laughs> celebrated its fiftieth birthday in nineteen ninety eight? Is it Nicaragua, Israel, Libya, or Ukraine? Okay, so 98, 50 years, 1948, pretty contentious place. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm going to guess at the answer on this one. 98, 58, 78, 68, 58, 48. I'm going to go for B, Israel. Final answer. You're going to go with B, final answer. Final answer. You watch the movie Ukraine now. Well, no, Ukraine was it looks like your gut has saved you again. That's the correct. Yeah, the Ukraine's like 1918, that one split with the Soviet Union, and what, 1917 when they kind of separated and the war and all that crap. Fantastic, yes! Okay, I'm feeling good now, feeling good. 
I am not we surprised you are now out. at 64,000. Let's see if we can get you higher. Are you ready? I'm ready. All I've got to do is walk away and I've won a side. That is very true. Your next question. In a standard deck of playing cards, every king holds a sword except the king of diamonds, who is shown to be holding... is shown with a what? Is it a battle axe, a red nose, a challenge, or a set? I haven't got the bloody foggiest. I've never even looked at uh, the King of Diamonds before. You do still have your 50 50, or you can ask the audience if you think they will know. <laughs> They might. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my 50 50, please. 50 50, very good. In that case, you have to use that. A battle that red mind. Note. Mind. Okay, me. I, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm still gonna walk away with 32,000, which is better than a kick in the teeth if I get it wrong. So I'm gonna go for Battle Axe A. Fine, Lancer. Let's go for it. Go Final for it. answer. Final answer. Let's go. I'm going to be wrong, aren't I? In that case, you're here for longer. Oh. Well done. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. This is this is the point that I got to last time I played this as well. So let's see if we can push you further. It'd be nice. Are though. you ready? I was born ready, and I'll die dead. Let's go. Your next question: Which country does not border Iraq? Is it Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Iran, Iran, or Lebanon? It's going to be Saudi Arabia or Lebanon, um, because I know they went to war with Iran. But no, wait, hang on a minute. No, he did Jordan. Was it Jordan? Was it Jordan that he invaded, which is what led to Desert Storm? I think it was Jordan. Right, hang on a minute. Iraq is the country here. Saudi Arabia is directly there because I played with them with Hearts of Iron. Everyone conquered it as Iraq. And Iran conquered it as Iraq. And Iran is over here. And I've done the same as Iran conquering Saudi Arabia. These two. So it does border Saudi Arabia and it does border. It does border Iran. Which was the case of West Lebanon in relation to the relation to these two places. Oh, where are they in relation to the two places? I don't know. I don't know. Um... You still have your Ask the Audience lifeline, if that would help. Yeah, it might be worth a gap just to see. I mean, I, I'm thinking, I said, I'm pretty sure it's not Iran. Because, yeah, war with Iran, it was quite Iran, it was quite a vicious war with a lot of chemical weaponry that was overlooked because, hey, Iran were the bad guys, quote unquote. And it ain't Saudi Arabia, because I'm pretty sure Saudi Arabia is directly on the border of um, Iraq, because I remember having a real issue conquering them when I was playing Hearts of Iron. I know it's, it's, it's off. I know down there is you, man. Is this one and there is another one down here in the bottom right of Saudi Arabia. So there's one there and there's one there in the Saudi Arabia. It's a I mean, really... you can always take the money after you've asked the audience. I could do. I I'm kind of leaning towards, I'm actually kind of leaning towards Jordan. This is where the 50 50 will be really useful. I'm really leaning towards Jordan at this moment in time. But I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Unfortunately, I can't help you. Yes, no, of course you can't. Oh, bloody hell's teeth. Ain't nothing ever easy, is it? No, not usually. That is life. It certainly is. Alright, yeah, I'm going to ask the audience, please. Okay, you're going. Okay, you're going to ask the audience. In that case, I shall pass it over to the audience in a minute. You shall get the question. It does not border. It does not border Iraq. 
Is it A, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, C, Iran, D, Iran, or D, Lebanon? I shall pass it over to you guys now. Right, that looks like it's everyone in. So, that probably hasn't helped you very much. No, that really has not helped me at all, which is far from bloody ideal. Um, fucking hell, it's two. I mean... I mean, if you're willing to share some of the feathers, I may be able to help you out with another 50-50, but uh, that, that's a choice for your conscience to decide whether you're willing to sacrifice some of your feathers for a bit of blackmail. How many feathers are we talking about? I I think maybe 10,000 feathers, and I'll give you another 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm... Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make an educated guess here. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for it at this point. I'm just going to guess and I'm going to go with... No, fucking hell's teeth. I mean, it's, maybe, it's a mistake guessing anything, but I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Yeah, somebody selected it, so I'm going to put my faith in one member of the audience, whether they're right or wrong. I'm going to go with D, because why not? Let's go for it. D, final answer. You're going to go with D, final answer. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, it looks like that soul searching has, uh, unfortunately for you, proved very, very correct. Well done. <laughs> Fuck. Well man. done. Looks like you're staying here for a bit. Hey, which one of you bastards? Which one of you bastards picked that one? Doesn't matter. I can't hear you. Probably Trump baby looking at it. <laughs> he knows all about Middle Eastern diplomacy. Flipping heck. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Would you like to continue? Let's try and see what comes up. But I'm walking away from this one. Very good. Your next question: In which U.S. city were traffic lights forty? T. Was it D? Was it Detroit, New York, Los Angeles, or Cleveland? Yeah, I got the foggiest tonight. I'm going to walk 150,000 feathers, thousand feathers, because fuck it. I don't know the answer. Very good. Well done. What, what? If I had to push you for a final answer, what one would it have been? Mm, Detroit, probably. You would have lost your money. It was, in fact, Cleveland. Ah, and that's the last one I would have picked. So, hey, I'll take that any day of the week. But there you go, 250,000 feathers. I can make at least two pillows with that. Oh, that is fantastic. I don't owe you nothing. Well, thank you for playing. Now, please, fuck off. Woo!